All right, Pastor Dad here. This is Richard Flat, and uh, just want to say belated uh, Happy Father's Day uh, to all the fathers out there. Um, I was thinking yesterday, as as uh, I wasn't doing a video, but was thinking about doing one, um, how 17 years ago uh, I had just had uh, my newborn son. He was born in May, and so um, I got to preach that Sunday on the on the fatherhood of God, where fatherhood comes from. And so I I had him in my in my hand, cradling his head in my hand, and his body is is uh, you know lying there on my arm as I was preaching the entire entire service. And uh, just just awesome, really just a good memory, and just love my son. As I'm challenged sometimes, what in the world am I going to come up with? Uh, you know, for doing doing the videos and and uh, I guess my mantra for this is when my son had said, just just be yourself, Dad. Just be yourself. And on Friday, um, I had shared at Celebrate Recovery um, the video that I had done. What was it? Episode six, having to do with the with the steps. And the guys said, uh, you know, you've kind of found your niche, and I'm just really happy for you. And if we ever, you know, when we see your son. Just want to uh, to shake his hand. Um, my son doesn't go to the same church I do. He goes to with with his grandmother um, to the church where actually both his grandmothers uh, and his grandfather go. So, um, so anyway, um, just uh, you know, awesome uh, that my son encouraged me to do this and uh, and thanks. So um, my plan for this week it's it's a Monday. And, uh, you know, you got to have a plan. And so what I got here is Purple Heart. Um, and I'm going to take this Purple Heart and um, and I have here some pins. And I got double stick uh, on them. And I'm going to be making a bunch of, uh, you know, they have like support this or support that ribbons. You know what I'm talking about? You know, like the yellow ones for 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 vets and our troops and so uh, i'm going to be making purple ones purple is the color for lupus color for fibromyalgia and uh so making uh fibromyalgia pins and put those up on etsy um i've done one for a friend for for lupus i just need to finish it up and i apologize it's been ages so um what i wanted to do today and you'll see in the title where it says i love apop that's a pop tigma berserk and you'll see the spelling there as well. And I am, I am mad into that band. And I have a couple of their, of their CDs here in my car. And um, uh, to make room, to have enough space to be able to do these videos, I had to get rid of uh, so much of the music that's on here. And I only have one band. I, I got everything else. Off. Now I love music, so I love a lot of a lot of other bands, but I only have one band on my phone, and that's a Pop Tigma Berserk. And my number one favorite album right now that I'm listening to a lot is Imagine There's No Lennon uh, by a Pop Tigma Berserk, and uh, it's a live album. Usually, I think live albums aren't all that good; they kind of stink. Um, and this one was done in Cologne, Germany, and it's awesome. I mean, it's just so good. Um, and I highly recommend it. I find it encouraging on, on a number of different levels. Um, and one of the things that I like uh, about uh, Stephen Groth, Stephen Grote, uh, the band's from Norway, so I don't know exactly how to pronounce, pronounce that. And uh, Stephen, if you're seeing this, uh, and I pronounced your name wrong, or really weird, um, I apologize. And if you ever come to Spokane, you know, let's go out for pizza or something or coffee. I'll, you know, my treat. I uh, would love to be able to, to hang out with you and talk with you. And um, was I really like the interviews. He has a bunch of interviews that are on YouTube and maybe some point I will um, figure out how to, to list those or have links to them, um, but pretty incredible. And um, one of the things that I, I liked, he was he was asked kind of like what his, some of his influences were, and I think Kraftwerk was one of them. And one of the uh, one of the other albums was uh, a uh, Randy Stonehill album, and uh, and so the idea of of just really speaking with with parable. There's some stuff that's like kind of hidden, just like a different level. 
Um, and, I, you know, I like that. I mean, I like music that makes you think and it challenges you. And it's definitely, you know, it's definitely thinking music. If It gets you to think. It, it, it gets you to want to wake up. You know, what's going on? Um, uh, the first song on there is Weight of the World. You know, so you... Uh, carry the weight of the world guess who's carrying you um eclipse uh mercy kill a sleeper awake i love that one in this together shadow i absolutely love shadow uh you keep me from breaking apart that is my number one favorite awesome recovery song and i'll go into that later um till the end of the world i love that one a shine on I love that one as well, and that one's a cover, um, and sometimes I want to hear what the original is, but there's a line in there, well, I won't hate and I won't fight, well, not today, and I think there's sometimes with our recovery on that, you know, we can't really say, well, you know, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to do that again, it's like, no, you know what, one day at a time, one day at a time, I got to put my thought in it today, and the last song, Nonstop Violence, but just awesome, so, um, yeah, I encourage you to, to listen to, to some, uh, some A-pop today. There's, a um, there's some playlists and stuff on YouTube. Uh, check it out. Uh, they're on iTunes and, uh, you know, buy their music and enjoy it. So that's what I got for you this week. I'm looking forward to showing you the Purple Heart, uh, pens when I get those done and, uh, please subscribe. Um, uh, and, uh, just have a great week. I just want to encourage you, support you. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.